What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are at Latham Skate Park and it is pretty much a wreck everywhere. There's just trash everywhere and it's really been bothering me lately. It actually always bothered me because even at the Lexington Skate Park back home, people just wreck the skate park. And as you know, I go to the skate park really early. It's like I'm it's 6.30 in the morning right now. And because I get here so early, no one has came to clean it. So the park is typically destroyed and it is wrecked. So a lot of times, I do like a small bit of community service. I get to the park early, I clean up the trash, and it's kind of been a no brainer. You just clean up the crap people make. So it's a wreck. We're gonna clean some of this up before the skate session starts. So let's get cleaning. like this almost every single day I've been here and I haven't really been cleaning it because I've kind of been scared to touch people's trash because of the virus but today I was just like this is disgusting I'm gonna clean it up so I did I brought hand sanitizer obviously you just saw that but I caked it onto my whole arm the issue that I had with this is that like this is a public park like, this was free for us to get I mean I guess our tax dollars paid for it and then people just trash it like the Lexington skate park we spent years trying to get it and almost every morning I go, it is trashed. People just aren't really grateful for what they have. Like it's essentially free. Like you pay taxes and the city does things for you. And that's, that skate park is it. And people just don't understand that. And they wreck it. And it makes me so angry. People don't see the behind the scenes stuff. Like when I go clean it every now and then. And a lot of times the local skate shop owner, So Stoked Skate Shop, will get there early and clean it as well. Cause the city only comes like once a week and that's not enough for how often people trash it. So. PSA, clean up your freaking skate parks, people. So I actually didn't come to the skate park to film today. I was just coming for a chill day because I've already got a video planned for this week, but seeing the skate park like that just made me angry and I had to make a video. So this is my PSA. But while we're here, somebody took one of the trash cans out and has been skating over it. They've been skating over it. So while it's there, let's try to get some things over it. I'd love to get a kickflip. I've never kickflipped over something like that before. so. We'll see what happens. hours later. So I skated for about another hour and a half after that kickflip. I just didn't feel like filming because I didn't plan really to film today. It's just seeing all that trash makes me so angry. And again, I'm going back to the Lexington Skate Park. Like that, that skate park is brand new and the whole community is super fortunate to have that because I didn't have that growing up as a kid. And yet people come and just trash the place and it makes me so mad. Just clean up after yourself. Like they literally went to the trouble of putting trash cans at every corner of the skate park and yet there's still trash everywhere. Like it's not that hard to pick up your trash once you're done. Also, I sweat a ridiculous amount over the summer. Like there's, you can literally see the sweat dripping off my face and my shirt is drenched. And I almost always try to wear a white shirt when I go skate now because like this shirt literally gained like three pounds because of my sweat. I almost always now bring two shirts because the ride home, I just sit in my sweat and I, it's just disgusting, especially when I come to Greensboro. It's like an hour drive home for me. I don't want to sit in this gross sweat. So I'm gonna change into this real quick. So this skate session's over. There'll be a little bit more skating at the end of this video, but right now I have to go to Old Navy because I ruined a pair of my blue pants and I have to get another pair of dress pants for work. 
And also, April's sister is getting married this coming Sunday, so she's going to find a dress somewhere over there in that area, either Old Navy or Marshalls or something like that. So I'm gonna go home, shower, meet up with April. We're gonna go shopping and grab some lunch. So let's go meet up with April. Look at this beautiful human. So it's actually the next day now. April and I have been doing car picnics like that for a while now since the virus has been happening. We'll just order food and instead of eating out and contributing to the spread of the virus, we will just pick it up and eat it in the car. So it's still kind of like a date. We're not having to go home and eat it there. I was supposed to go skate this morning, but it rained, it poured down rain. It's dry now, but it's also supposed to rain again in a couple hours, so there's no point in me going to skate today. But the good news is I have a ton of old footage that I haven't used. Some of it's a couple months old now. It's just been sitting there that I haven't put on YouTube yet. So the rest of this video is just going to be me skating. I know there's park footage like usual at the Latham Skate Park, and then I know there are some street clips as well. About a month ago, I went street skating with a friend of mine who is also a teacher, and we just went on a street mission and just skated street. So I hope you enjoy it. Here's some old footage. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps me out so much. It helps more people see my videos. If you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button because I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 8 p.m. There'll be some order videos right here. Be sure to check those out and I'll catch you guys in the next video.